advise. The opinions and views of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Good morning Philippines, you're watching the Business Portal, your gateway to business trends and opportunities. I'm your host, Dr. Jan Seneca for What's Up Doc? Yes, we have a very interesting topic, it's all about varicose pain. It's non-surgical treatment of virus pain and we have a special uh, guest for this morning two great doctor expert in the treatment of virus pain. but before that i would like to introduce to you my beautiful co-host no other than my favorite miss katati Hi, good Kata. morning doc yeah long time no see hindi doc ha kita lang tayo it's, it's last like week more than a week huh? by the way thank you for ano, uh, being a host in of my course. Uh, uh, oath taking last week for as president. The induction of officers. And congratulations to you, Doc. And you're the second time president of your yeah, association. It's my second term as president of the Philippine Academy of Aesthetic Surgery. But, you know, we have uh, for this morning an ex uh, two experts from, actually, three experts from uh, uh, Janssen Cosmetic Surgery. They are doing sclerotherapy or what we call uh, plebology in, in practice. No? And in our first part, we will uh, give you some points and lectures and tips of how to treat your varicose veins. Non-surgical, because you know, um, kata, when they, say, when they uh, tell you about uh, varicosities, they always think about surgery in Hagar. And they always think of it as very pricely. Correct. And then, um, these treatments are all non And we will have, you know, we ng live. Live? First time in... Uh, uh, Philippine uh, television history na magkakaroon tayo ng live treatment of varicose vein. So after that, Doc, they can freely go back to their um, usual activities? Yes, that's what we're gonna be discussing for this morning. Excited na ako, uh, Kata. Uh, so Doc, introduce to us our um, doctors who will discuss about more about the non-surgical treatments. Yes, okay. Now we would like to introduce to you uh, from Janssen Cosmetic Surgery, a medical associate of uh, Janssen Cosmetic Surgery and a fellow of the International College of Surgery, no other than Dr. Roderick Julius Azores. Good morning, Dr. Jan. Good morning, Kata. Uh, good morning, everyone. I hope you'll be interested in our topic for today. And we have here, together with me, Dr. Uh, Cappuccino. Dr. Jet uh, Cappuccino, also a medical associate of uh, Janssen Cosmetic Surgery. Hello. Welcome, doctors. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Yeah, yeah let's talk about varicose vein. Oh, when you say varic varicosity or varicose vein, what's this all about, Dr. Zores? Now, uh, varicosities or varicose pain are defective veins that's causing la leg pains among women. It is, mind you, it's present among 90% of women. 90%, 90%. of women? That means that 9 out of 10 women have varicose veins. Yes, 9 out of 10 women have varicose veins and they don't even have any idea about it. Okay. Doctor, what would be some signs and symptoms of varicosities? Ano ba nararamdaman nila when they have varicose veins? Mm -hmm. The patient usually feels uh, leg pains. Okay. Uh, so there are crumpings. Mm -hmm. Pero ang pinakaayaw ng pasyente usually is that they see the varicose veins. Yun uh -huh. ang pinakaayaw so ng pasyente, hindi makapag-shorts. So it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't look aesthetically good, mm -hmm. no? I mean, Very visible. <coughs> especially right now. When you're wearing shorts. Or uh -oh. Especially now that it's really summer. Mm -hmm. Summer time, correct. Yeah. Uh -huh. Who wants to wear bikini, go to the beach, and then, yuck, may varicose veins. You, 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 know, you know what? Even though how, how sexy you are, even though how beautiful you are, but when you're wearing this uh, two-piece or one-piece uh, swimming suit, and you have varicosity, it doesn't look good there. Eh, yes. Diba? So it's not yeah. only because of the pain or the crampings, mm -hmm. but rather because of the aesthetic, aesthetic. look mm -hmm. of your leg. And alam ko, uh, alam nyo ba na, uh, mga, most of the patient, uh, uh, the way how they, especially women, the way how they take care of their face, the way how they take care of their legs too. Uh -oh. So that means that, um, 
sometimes they're afraid of uh, having the treatment of varicose vein because I know that uh, varicose vein can only be treated surgically, but now we have a treatment, a, an advanced treatment in varicose vein. We call it sclerotherapy. sclerotherapy. Oh. What is sclerotherapy, Dr. Azores? Now, sclerotherapy is another option of treating varicose vein, aside from the surgical part of treating it. No? What we're doing here, we're injecting sclerosing agent uh -huh. to cause inflammation inside the blood vessel so that the blood vessel will, will close down. Now, we're treating varicose vein that way para hindi naman masyadong hassle sa pasyente. Kasi they would be thinking, baka mamaya matagal ang treatment o ano ba ang mga pwedeng mangyari sa kanila, how long will it take for them to have the treatment uh -huh. because they're thinking of the, kung surgical ang gagawin. Now, with, with sclerotherapy, you just inject the patient with the sclerosing agent, you ask them to come back on a weekly basis and the treatment will be yung mga trip, 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 treatment natin is wedding from 2 to 10 sessions, okay na yan. Yes. So, ang maganda niyan, walang mga bawal. Kadalasan nga, sinasabi namin sa mga pasyente, bawal kumain na hindi masarap. Kasi ah, talagang walang yeah. bawal. Eh. Can, no, that means you can go back to your normal activities. Oh, yun yun yun. Uh, yes, Doc. After the treatment, the patient usually can go home or go back to their offices and then do their normal activities. Mm -hmm. Okay. By the way, uh, we're broadcasting live and uh, you can text your uh, message to 0922-891-6761 and please indicate your name, name and, location and your and location. And of course, your question for us. Yes. Okay. Doctors, I have a question. What causes varicose veins po ba? Is it more on genetics? Credit, heredity po ba yun? Causes or more on prolonged standing and work related? Usually, ang pinaka first cause niyan is hereditary. If you have a relative, especially uh, uh, your mother or father have varicosities, then usually magkakaroon ka din. Yun ang namamana mo. Okay. And then, yeah. uh, another one is hormonal. Then, also it's work related. Like prolonged standing, like yung mga sales lady, uh -huh. yung mga um, waiters, no? mga ganun, mga flight attendants. News reporters. Oo, oh, oh, news yes, reporters. Of course, nakakasali ka pala dyan. Also prolonged seating. Seating? Mm -hmm. okay. Pwede mga... So, parang hindi naman po nakatayo, hindi naman po napapagod ang mga veins namin. But then, prolonged seating, mm. why, is all, why is it also a cause of varicose veins? Ah, kasi when you're seating, yung ano, yung blood, yung kasi mga valves natin, no? When you are sitting, nakarest din siya. So dapat lagi kang gumagalaw uh -oh. so that the blood could pump uh, your blood uh, back to the heart. Kaya okay, so kailangan dapat may, may meron pump, ka activity. No? May pump. Kasi there must be some oh, movements. Activity in dapat activity meron. Activity dapat. Okay. Kasi the, the one that's uh, propulsing the blood towards the heart is yung contraction ng muscle natin. Kaya yung, yung movement natin alone will help para maiwasan yung paglabas ng mga varicosities na ito. Now, uh, Dr. Uh, Cappuccino, when you say sclerotherapy, is this a, you said that this is a non-surgical mm -hmm. treatment of varicose veins. So, does, does you need, do you need like confinement pa ba sa hospital or is it an outpatient procedure? Uh, well, how do you do uh, this? This is a non-surgical treatment. Now, what we do is just we just inject a sclerosing agent to the damaged veins Ang maganda dito is that the patient would only feel minimal pain, it's tolerable, uh -huh. and then after the uh, treatment, which usually uh, lasts for 15 to 30 minutes, uh -huh. the patient could already go home or go back to their offices, tapos pwede na silang magtrabaho ulit or gagawin yung mga dati nilang ginagawa. So, is an, how, how long, how, in one session, yun. how long is the treatment? Usually 15 to 30 minutes, wow. depending on the number of varicose, it is that mm -hmm. the doctor could identify during the uh, no, treatment. More than that, doctors, will the patients immediately see the results of the of the injection? Or after three days, we can see the immediate results? No, for, for, for some uh, varicose, it is like the spider veins. During the treatment, you can see it's not magic. Mm -hmm. oh. Now, for the large ones, yun yun talagang mag ka ng a few, a few it days para you can see it's effect yung Okay. Now, uh, when you say uh, varicose veins, and you said it produces some, some pain, and it can be treated non-surgically by using sclerizing agent, you know, Ano bang contents nitong sclerizing agent na to? Uh, what, what, what kind of uh, solution are you using? Is, now, it, uh, for is it safe rin po ba, those agents? Yeah. Is it yeah. safe or meron po siyang pinipiling tao lang? Mm -hmm. Actually, it's safe. Lalo na yung tinatawag natin yung sclerodex. 
ang content lang nito is parang asin, sodium chloride plus yung sugar. Dextrose. It's an hypertonic solution mm -hmm. na nagko-cause ng irritation doon sa loob ng vessel to close it down. Okay. Now, meron din tayong isa pang sclerosing agent na ginagamit, yung tinatawag nating sclerodine. Now, this sclerodine, ang content nito is meron tong iodine, ano? So, ito medyo ginagamit natin to doon sa mga malalaki na mga ano, mas, mas mabilis magpasara ng malalaking ugat. Yes. Uh, by the way, again, we are live, uh, broadcasting live in uh, Global News Network. As, uh, you can text your messages at 0922-891-6761 and please indicate your name and location for any questions regarding uh, non-surgical treatment of varicose vein for our two expert doctors, Dr. Azores and Dr. Acapuccino. Okay. Yes. Um, Doc, may pinipili po ba siyang um, agent or client or dapat po ba age 17 and above? Ano like po yung age any, limit any natin? Any age range uh, you can start Actually, with walang, walang age limitation ito. No? As yes. long as meron ng present na varicosities, pwede na nating i-treat. Now, uh, with regards to sa use ng sleridine, what we're using here, uh, it, yun medyo may konting limitations because kung merong mga allergies sa seafood, so ang ginagamit natin yung isang sclerosing agent natin, yung Slerodex. Oh, okay. Now, uh, um, when you say this is a, uh, a uh, outpatient procedure, and uh, you said it's like only takes like 10 to 30 minutes mm -hmm. treatment, so that means that uh, you can do that during lunch break, right? Yes. Yeah. In yeah. fact, we've had a lot of patients who who works in the office, uh -huh. na during break time nila, sumasaglit lang sila sa clinic for the treatment, then they co they at once go back to their work after that. Wow. Pero doc, does, does that mean after po ba, are they advised to wear pants or any pantyhose yes, to uh -huh. prevent them from further um, damages um, mga veins? Or Is there any, do you need to like applying garments or leg garments? garments or uh, Now for stockings? larger ones, what we do advise them to wear, yung mga medical grade stockings. Uh -huh. no? Or pwede rin yung bandages. We do apply bandages, especially where, if we're treating larger veins. Para mas maganda ang occlusion at mas maganda ang compression on. Mas maganda ang response. Doctor, who, who, ano, who are the patients who cannot perform, who can have this kind of treatment? Any uh, do's and don'ts regarding uh, for patients who... Or, uh, the patients the that we do not advise to have treatment are the patients with DVTs or deep vein thrombosis. Okay. Uh, also, patients with uh, infectious diseases. Uh, like? Um, like skin diseases. Skin diseases. Active skin, active skin diseases. Skin diseases. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. uh, sometimes we also uh, do not uh, advise patients who are nursing mothers. You mean uh, mga nagpapa mm -hmm. breastfeeding? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Bakit po, Dok? Uh, kasi because of the agents that the medications that we give injecting, uh -oh. because it's directly Fine injected uh -oh. maybe on the blood on vessels, blood vessels. Yes, uh -oh. okay now um i know that uh, there's some um uh we texters from chris yeah we have a uh, question from Chris and he said how much is non-surgical treatment very interested siya. Mm -hmm. where is the clinic located interested po ako. thank you now uh, initial treatment will cost you 4,000 and succeeding treatment is about 900 pesos so only. very affordable huh? it's affordable. just like uh, buying a uh, cellular phone load treatment already it's like buying cell phone but, mas mahal uh, or, mahal low cost na <laughs> cell phone and Alam mo naman, ang legs is very important. He said uh -huh. that 90% of the world women population has been affected by this kind of disease. And we're not doing anything about it. And uh -huh. can you maybe mistake it for like what kind of disease if there is... Uh, Any leg disease problem uh -huh. involving? Actually, uh, others may, might think that they are having yung mga arthritis type of pain. Pero actually, hindi. Uh, compromised lang yung circulation nila sa legs. Kaya nagkakos ng leg pain. But mm -hmm. once you have it treated... Uh, yung reversal ng mga signs and symptoms ng leg pains is nawawala. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I would like to mention that uh, we are treating this. We, we have a clinic at Midland Plaza, uh, third, Suit 33, second floor, mm -hmm. M. Adriatico, or Mita Manila. Yeah. We also have one uh, clinic in Angeles, and one in Santa Rosa, and the other one is in Scout Borromeo. Scout Borromeo. Yeah, we have another uh, texter. Uh, From